All right, welcome to my first video on solar power here on Pine Island. Actually, the, the video is uh, it's specifically for Pine Island, which is in southwest Florida, but it could be anywhere in Florida that these things I'm about to explain to you would be appropriate. The fact is, I just put in a solar powered system that has 6.7 kilowatts of power. That's enough power to power everything in my home. I have a small home, but it's enough to power everything in the home, including central air conditioning in hot summer Florida weather. And there's enough energy left over to bank it with my um, electrical power supplier, LCEC. Um, a bi-directional meter allows electricity over and above what I've consumed to go out to the grid and power someone else's home. So LCEC doesn't mind. They get to use that electricity to power someone else's home and it acts as my bank or battery. So if I make more than I produce, then I get credit for it and I'll use it up when the day is not sunny and I'm not making enough power. The reason I'm st standing here in front of these things is because these are the heart of the matter. They are the things that actually control uh, what uh, and where the electricity goes to. In effect, what happens is the DC power from the inverters, I mean from the uh, solar panels on the roof of the house comes down here goes into here the electronics in here actually convert it to AC power which is the power you use in your home and then sends it back to your electric meter if it uses your house uses the electricity first if there's any left over then it goes back into the grid and you get credit for it the point that I want to make to you today is why I use these particular inverters. The company that I use for the installation of this system does not normally use this inverter. You can use their inverters if you want to. But the reason they got my business is because they allowed me to purchase these specific inverters and then they would install them, which is exactly what happened. I got three of them. I, don't, I didn't have to. I could have easily have gotten away with one big one or two other smaller ones, but I got three and here's why. It's this little box right here. This is just an ordinary plug, an ordinary household plug. But what happens, unlike most inverters that in the event of a blackout, they just shut down. They're still getting power from the sun but it's a safety feature to keep you from electrocuting a lineman uh, by backfeeding into the grid. So they just shut down and do not work and you don't get any power out of them at all, even though you're suffering in the middle of a heat wave and they're making power. These particular inverters, SMA Sunny Boy, have this unique feature. It's just come out in the past year. And what it does, it allows you to use power from this inverter even when there's a blackout. All you have to do is flick this little switch and plug in an extension cord and you've got up to 2,000 watts of power to power your house from all three of these things. So if I, under an emergency circumstances like the last hurricane where the uh, power is down and it's going to be some time before it gets back up, you can still keep your house going. You can run a small window air conditioner, you can run your freezer, you can run your refrigerator, you can run your electronics, you can keep going with the internet. All the things necessary for life you can keep going. You might not be able to run your central air conditioner because you won't be making enough power, but you certainly be able to run a small window air conditioner. That's why I got these things. I wanted the guarantee that in the event of another hurricane for which Florida is famous, I can still use my electrical appliances 
in my house. The sun is shining. The uh, uh, solar panels are making electricity. And I'm quite happy using a reduced amount of power for the amount of time it takes for the electric company to come out here, fix, the, fix their lines, their blown over poles, or whatever it is that caused their shutdown in the first place. So that's why I got this inverter. That's where the video will stop for today. And the only thing that I ask you is that I will put all the necessary information about this particular system underneath the video, including the company Advanced Solar and Spa that actually installed all this equipment. The only thing that I ask is if you like this and you decide you want to use it yourself, that you mention my name, Gary Stone, as the person who recommended it to you. If you do this, I will get a, a finder's fee for um, uh, selling this product to you. But that's all right. It won't cost you a cent to do this. It's just a favor for a favor. And in effect, I'll uh, consult with you. I will help you uh, decide whether you need to change the details in your system. I will help you decide whether you have a system. You need a system that's smaller or bigger. But for that, it's just sort of like we're exchanging favors. I'll help you decide which system will be the most efficient for you. And I will, of course, get some compensation from the company that does this. Thank you very much for watching. Click on like and subscribe on my YouTube channel. And hit that little bell-like symbol so you're notified when I put out a new video. Thanks and goodbye.